determination of specific charge of an electron by Thomson's method. The experimental arrangement is explained here. A highly evacuated discharge tube used in this experiment is shown in the visual. Cathode rays are produced by the discharge between the cathode and the anodes D1 and D2. A thin pencil of cathode ray comes out through fine pinholes in the anode disc. The cathode rays then pass between two parallel metal plates P1 and P2 and strike the flat face of the tube. This face is coated with suitable fluorescent material. A spot of light is produced at Q but when a potential difference V is applied between P1 and P2, the beam is reflected to the point Q1. By the use of a pair of coils, a uniform magnetic field is produced perpendicular to the plane of the paper and outward throughout the region between P1 and P2.